Hello everybody. Welcome to Object Oriented Programming with Java Laboratory. So in this video, I'm going to explain about program number eight that is based on multi-threading concept. Here is a syllabus. The program number eight says that write a Java program that implement multi-thread application that has three threads. So here in this program, you know, we are going to use three threads. So the first thread generates a random integer for every one second and the second one compute the square of the generated random number and the third third one print the cube of the number so before going to the explanation of the code i'll just quickly uh, brief about what is thread class and why do we need multi-threading concept a thread is a lightweight sub process that is smallest unit of a processing so a thread is a predefined class in Java. Yet there is a thread class in Java that is predefined class which is available in the java.lang package. So thread is a basic unit of CPU and it is uh, you know, well known for its independent execution. So multi-threading in Java is a process of executing multiple thread simultaneously. Suppose, assume that there is a task in thus, three methods are there, method 1, method 2, and method 3. So this method requires 10 seconds, and this method requires 10 seconds, and this method requires 10 seconds to execute. So if you go sequentially, so your entire task need 30 seconds to execute. If you perform these three methods simultaneously and if you use multitasking and if you perform this task so this task require 10 seconds so here each task require 10 seconds each method require 10 seconds to execute and if you perform simultaneously so within the 10 second you can uh, perform this uh, task so that is the use of uh, multitasking multi threading is used to achieve multitasking so multi-threading is a process to execute multiple threads at the same time without dependency of other threads called uh, multi-threading. So here the uh, threads are ind independent, they are not depend on each other and threads used a shared memory area. They don't, they don't allocate separate memory area. So that is uh, in that way it will save the memory and context switching between the thread uh, takes less, less time uh, than process. So in the multi-processing, uh, the different process will get the different memory location. But here in multitasking, uh, all the threads will uh, use the common uh, memory area. Java provides thread class so to achieve thread programming. So thread class provides constructor and methods to create uh, and perform the operation on a uh, threads. So thread class extend object class and implement the runnable uh, interface. Java thread class provides many methods that is it provides the start method used to start the execution of the thread, run method used to do action for a thread and sleep method. So it sleeps a thread for a specified amount of time, whatever you know number you will mention here in milliseconds and get name return the name of the thread, set name changes the name of the thread, get ID return the ID of the thread. So these are the method which uh, Java thread class provides. So uh, some of the methods we are going to use for our program. So thread dot sleep. So thread dot sleep method uh, can be used to pause the execution of the current thread for a specified time in a millisecond. So whatever number you'll give in a millisecond. So that much uh, that amount of time uh, your thread will be paused. So during that, if any other thread interrupt when the thread is sleeping, then the interrupted exception will be thrown. So you have to catch that interrupted exception else your program will be hard. So whenever you are going to use a thread dot sleep method, you have to put that code in the try block and you have to catch this interrupted exception. Your program will not hard. Now we will see our code. Okay, here is the code for our program. So in this program, I have three threads. The first one is to generate the random number. Second one is to find out the square of a number. Third one is to find out the cube of a number. So this is the main method. 
so this is the main class and here is the main method so i am creating one object for my first uh, thread that is uh, the class name i have used uh, r number a random number so for that i am creating one object then and uh, i am using the method uh, start to start that uh, thread okay so it will start uh, my thread here so here i am extending the thread class java thread class now i am making use of the run method of the thread class so run method is a method which is used to perform the action for a uh, thread so here i am creating one object for my random class so one object i have created for my random class to generate the random number i am using for loop now in this for loop why i am using uh, uh, this phi here because i am going to generate the phi numbers phi random uh, numbers if you want to generate 10 random number you can give here a uh, 10 it depends uh, how many number you want to generate you can give uh, that number you can mention uh, here so here uh, i have given uh, i is equal to 0 i less than 5 that means i am generating 5 random number so then i am um, using uh, the uh, a random object which i have created and i am making uh, making use of the next inter method to generate the random number between 0 to 10 i am storing in a random integer that number i am storing in a random integer so now I am printing that whatever number I have generated, uh, I am printing here. Okay. Then for that random number generated, whatever random number I have generated, for that I have to find out the square of that. So that I am passing uh, to a square thread. So here I am passing to, uh, that number, whatever I have generated to a square thread. So I am creating one object for the square that is uh, S, one object I am creating. and uh, so in this constructor, I am passing the randomly uh, generated number and uh, by using that object of the square class, I am starting the square class thread. So here is the square class. So in this square class, uh, I am extending the thread class. So here this I have started, this thread uh, I have started and uh, random number whatever I have generated, I have passed to this uh, constructor. Here, square constructor this value i am passing uh, to the instance variable uh, x now this x what i'll do is i'll find the square of this so i'm making use of the run method of the thread class then uh, i'm finding the square of this i'm storing in a variable called square i'm printing the square in this line so this is the thread still calculating the square of a number now next i have to find out the cube of a number so whatever number i have generated that i'll uh, pass to a cube class okay so here uh, i'm passing to the cube constructor i have created one very or an object for that cube class i'm starting by using that object i'm i'm starting the cube class thread so here uh, i'm i'm starting this thread now this thread uh, got started now, whatever number I have passed, uh, that number, uh, you know, will be stored in the formal parameter n. So, that I am assigning to the x. Okay. So, here in this method, so in the run method, we are finding the cube of the number, that is x into x into x. I am storing in a variable called uh, cub. I am printing it. So, uh, this is the uh, thread which will, uh, you know, find the, generate the uh, cube of uh, the randomly generated number. So here uh, I'm making use of the uh, a sleep method. So thread dot uh, sleep, I am passing uh, uh, the millisecond, that thousand millisecond I am passing to that method. So thousand millisecond is equal to one uh, second because uh, in the program they have asked for every second we have to generate the random number, we have to find the square of it, when we have to find the cube of it. So this code I am putting in a try block because whenever the thread goes to sleep, you know, if any any other thread uh, interrupt it, uh, it will generate the interrupted exception. So that's why, you know, uh, to catch that, to handle that uh, exception, we are putting this code in the try block. And uh, in the catch block, we are catching that uh, interrupted uh, exception. Okay. This is the code uh, to generate the random number for every second and to find the square of uh, that number and to find the cube of uh, that number. Output, I'll show you. We will see the output of it. So my program compiled successfully. I'll run it.
Now you can see for every second, it's generating one random number. For that random number, it's finding the square and it's finding the cube. Now we got the five random number in five seconds. Our program generated five random number that is four, zero, one, eight, and again eight. And we found this, uh, you know, a square of that number and a cube of that number. One second, I'll run it. It will generate the different number. Now it is generating uh, the different random number. Now see here, it generated 0, 5, 2, 1 and uh, thank you student. I hope you understood this. Any doubt, you can uh, uh, ask me in the comment. Thank you.